Hyperconverged infrastructures explained. Hyperconvergence is a method used to build private data centers in a way that imitates the consumption of public clouds. In particular, their economic model, operational simplicity, and scaling granularity. Through server virtualization, it combines computing, networking, and storage services into one node without compromising on the performance, dependability, and workload availability that businesses have learned to expect from private clouds. This is accomplished by combining the elements of a traditional data center by using software and Intel x86 servers to replace expensive, purpose-built hardware. With it, hyperconverged infrastructure brings many benefits. Let's break down a few. Security. Through hyperconvergence, infrastructures have become more clarified and unified in contrast to the separation auxiliary and replication products that others may still be using, thanks to critical technology built right within. Elasticity. The beauty of cloud computing is that users are just a few clicks away from scaling in or out, depending on the situation. Hyperconvergence is useful as it concentrates heavily on scaling efficiently in smaller units due to the collocation of resources. All you have to do is add or subtract a server or node to the cluster to respond to match your resource demand. Data efficiency. Hyperconvergence follows practices that lead to a high degree of data reduction as duplicates are removed, which enhances compression. As a result, there are more attainable specifications available from network bandwidth, storage volume, and input-output operations per second requirements. Cost Hyperconverged infrastructure can reduce the initial cost of investment and setup of your new private or public cloud by merging compute and storage into one. There are also less IT components to manage. Uptime the storage nodes are one highly reliable pool of storage, so if one node goes down, the rest will continue to run seamlessly, thus improving uptime. As you can see, there are many reasons as to why hyperconverged infrastructure is being embraced by more and more companies. But how does it differ from converged infrastructure? Converged infrastructure involves a pre-configured assortment of software and hardware in a single system for simplified management. However, Compute, storage, and networking components are discrete and can be standalone. Hyperconvergence, on the other hand, adds more profound levels of abstraction and greater degrees of automation within a cloud based setup, as the components are inseparable. Software defined elements are executed virtually with seamless integration into the hypervisor environment. This way, organizations are able to expand capacity quickly through the deployment of additional modules. If you are looking to benefit from a hyper-converged infrastructure through a suitable cloud deployment, check out our private cloud. Our solution comes with customizable hardware so you can plan your environment as you deem fit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. To stay up to date with our latest videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. You can continue your cloud journey with us by following our social media accounts. If you want to learn more about our services, please visit us at vexos.com. Until next time!